Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to both of you today. Um, of course, there's going to be a lot of people out there very familiar with BMF, but for the uninitiated, could you just give us a brief introduction of what they can expect from, from the show in general, but particularly where we're going to jump in with season two? Uh, you want to go, Mal? Go ahead, buddy. Excuse me. The show BMF is about two brothers coming together, using their resources that they were given in 1980s Detroit, the poverty-stricken, drug-infested neighborhood. And they use their peers and their friends to help them create a huge empire. But throughout the journey in the empire, you know, we're, we're, season one is breaking it down to show how they started. And season two, is in the middle showing how the brothers are in a conflict because Terry wants to quit. He's nervous. He doesn't think stuff is going right. People are getting hurt. He doesn't like, you know, just being involved in, 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 in gangs and drugs. So Meech has to do a lot of his a lot of stuff on his own now. Has to do a lot of his business alone and has to bring people together by himself and just be brave and be the man that he is. You know, because his brother is not trying to do, you know, everything with him. So it's just that conflict and the conflict of, of his friend, um, the Mickey. He doesn't know if he can trust him all the way. So season two has a lot of different surprises from characters and just from our character development. I feel like what people can expect. And yes. Yeah, quite an incredible story behind, you know, for you, Demetrius, the fact that you're playing your father, um, this, you know, doing that first season was your sort of debut um, acting role. Um, and, 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 and what is it like playing your father? It was crazy. Like, it's a whole experience of me learning how to act. First, when I met 50, I had to move to L.A. from Miami. I was born and raised in Miami. I had to move from Miami to L.A. I knew one person that lived in L.A., one of my dad's friends. He let me sleep on his couch in his two-bedroom apartment. I had to sleep on a couch for a year and a half for the acting classes two times a week, two times a day, five times a week. And just to learn how to act, you know, 50 Cent couldn't give me the role. He only could get me ready. I had to earn it. You know, I had to show stars in Lionsgate that I was a man for the role and that I can act in and I can do, I can handle this job and carry a whole um carry a whole show by myself you know on my back um but just the whole experience and the whole journey getting me here it's crazy and, and just like a dream come true and i'm just you know i'm blessed and excited and miles to come to you maybe you can tell us a little bit about your character and also what the appeal was for you in jumping on board with the show um yeah, uh, that uh, he made part of what, what you call a thug, or what you call that that that, that guy from the hood. Um, but he he shows that humane side and that more spiritual side. You know, he everyone has that that family that they go home to, or that girlfriend that they have those conversations with. You know, um, and he and he shows that and he shows the realness. You know, everyone you know everyone was gonna is gonna have a put up a front. You know, and I'm um, looking forward to just seeing the expansion and the layers being peeled back more and more of this character this season because you got introduced to him the first season more of on the, the loyalty and brotherhood side. And now it's more of him trying to find his place in life and um, and ex accepting his position that's been given to him um, in the way that he doesn't feel that he was deserving of um, in the time frame of it when it was given to him, too. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what was your experience for both of you of making this show? Because the production values are just so high and it's just recreating, obviously going back to a different era as well, the costumes, the, the sets, um, the fast pace of it all. I mean, what is it like um, being on those sets and what were some of the highlights and challenges along the way? Maybe you want to start with that, Miles? Yeah, it's like going back in time. Every time I'm on set, like, 
yeah, like you said, down to the wardrobe, you know, you go into the hair and makeup trailer and you see the type of mascaras being put on the females, you know, and, and the different hairstyles, the gumpies, the boxes, the froze. Then you go outside and we're doing exterior shots. And they got different type of Cadillacs and Ferraris and this, then a third. Pun- so it's like a lot of things that you're just reliving, uh, you know, that you never really thought you would have lived before and only would have seen in books or on YouTube, you know, and I, that's and for me, I can say um, BMF. I didn't really know anything about them or who they was. You know, the only thing, only context I got around BMF from each was from a Rick Ross song, you know? So that was really cool. Just being on set every day and just seeing those type of things. And for you. Oh, me, it was similar, but it's different for me now because Miles is more experienced than me. Um, I, this is my first time ever, you know, doing something like this. Um, so the whole experience for me was different because I had to carry a show, you know, the first time I act and I have to be the lead. And it's a lot of stuff that I have to understand, you know, that that took six years to understand. So I'm glad that, it, you know, everything worked out in the right way and I was able to you know, get the job done. And I guess with series like this, you know, on the, on one level, it's just, you know, an incredibly entertaining roller coaster ride to be taken on, being sort of swept in to the world of this family. But there's also a lot of themes that can be very relevant to today um, about family, about loyalty. I mean, about how much also, you know, are we a product of, of the families that we're born into? Are we a product of the society that we're born into? Um, and kind of the pursuit of the American dream and that being different for every individual. So, you know, what do you think maybe some of the themes are that emerge from, from the series? You want to go, Mitch? You go. I mean, shoot. Uh, I feel like Black Mafia family, this show has a lot of different muses, you know, and inspirations that come from it. Uh, what, what makes it different? Is that uh yes, it's a it's a mob story, you know. You got your your black you you got your mafia um stories about the Michael, you know what I'm saying? The Michaels and uh I even, the, the the um American uh gangster stories, you know, and or what have you, those movies. But um those are all about people that have long and gone and have passed away and aren't black that look like me. And what 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 separates you know what I'm saying what separates them itself from every every everybody else's project is the fact that this is being a story that's being told from a man that's still behind bars or you know telling from different sources to this day you know where from where what he went through talking to his son telling him talking to an executive producer telling what what he went through talking to the director you know and having a whole project illustrate um the 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 hardship that he went through and 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 the and where he you know what I'm saying stand in his life now. So I feel like that's really cool. Did you want to add anything to that, Mitch? Oh, no, Miles really just hit it on the head. I agree with everything you said. <laughs> okay, well I think I'm out of time, but thank you so much for sharing all that with me. Cannot thank wait you. for have a good day. To get back into the second season in January. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a good day. Cheers. Bye.